So over the next couple days, we're going to look at what I'm going to call and or events. And today we're going to look at dependent and independent events. And later on, we're going to look at mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events. So first of all, events are independent when the outcome of one event does not influence the outcome of a second event. When the outcome of one event affects the outcome of a second event, then we say that the events are dependent. Now to find the probability of two events both occurring, multiply the probability of the first event by the probability of the second event. And we can write this as the probability of event A occurring and the probability of event B occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So now as an easy example, something we've covered before, we're going to consider the probability of tossing two dice and getting a three on each die. So now these events are independent and that's because the outcome on the second die does not affect the outcome on the first die and vice versa. So the probability of getting a three on the first die and a three on the second die will be equal to the probability of getting a three on the first die times the probability of getting a three on the second die. And in both, both cases, the probability is one in six. So the probability of A and B will be equal to 1 6 times 1 6, which is 1 out of 36. And this should make sense because recall, there are 36 possible outcomes when you roll two dice, and there is only one outcome of the 36 where you get a 3 on each die. So now we're going to consider a second situation where we're going to draw, we've got a bag with three marbles. One's blue, one's red, and one's yellow. We're going to take one marble out, and then we're going to replace it. And then we're going to select a second marble. And we want to know what's the probability of selecting a red marble first and a blue marble second. So the probability of selecting a red, well, there is one favorable outcome and three possible outcomes. So the probability of selecting a red is one in three. So we replace the marble, and now we're going to select a second marble. And the pro probability of selecting a blue now is one favorable outcome of selecting a blue and three possible outcomes. So that works out to be one third as well. So these events are independent because of the replacement. The Once the marble is replaced, the probability of selecting a blue is not any different than the probability selecting a blue on the first trial. So the probabilities are the same from trial to trial because of the replacement. So now the probability of selecting a red and a blue will be one third times one third. And this is one ninth. So now we're gonna consider a second example and in this case, we still have three marbles in the bag, one blue, one red, and one yellow. Now we're going to select a marble and not replace it. Now we're going to, and then we're going to select the second marble. And the question is, what is the probability of selecting a red marble, marble first and a blue marble second? So the probability of selecting a red is still one third. There is one favorable outcome, choosing a red, out of three possible marbles to select. So the probability of selecting a blue. Well, now we only have two marbles in the bag, and one of them is our favorable outcome. So the probability of selecting a blue, given that we selected a red first, is now one half. And so since the selection in the first the first selection affected the, the probabilities in the second selection, we say that these events are dependent. And the way this is written is the probability of A and the probability of B occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given that A occurred first.
So now, when we consider this, the probability of choosing a red and a blue, and since these events are dependent, then it's one-third times one-half, which is different from the probability when we were considering the independent event where there was replacement. So the probability of selecting a red and a blue when there is no replacement, when we're dealing with dependent events, is one-sixth. So now we're going to consider a hockey team, and they've got eight wingers. Three are considered stars. If two wingers are randomly chosen, what is the probability that both are stars? Well, the probability that a star is chosen first, well, we have three favorable outcomes or three stars to choose from out of a possible eight wingers. So that's going to be three out of eight. Now, the probability that a second star is, is chosen, well, since a star was chosen first, now we only have two favorable outcomes and seven possible outcomes. So the probability of choosing a star second is then two out of seven. These events are dependent. And we can write this as the probability of a star chosen first and a star chosen second is equal to the probability that a star is chosen first times the probability that a star is chosen second given that a star was chosen first. So the probability of two stars then is 3 eighths times 2 sevenths, which reduces to 3 over 28. Now, let's consider another, another situation. A bank contains five white marbles, three black marbles, and two green marbles. In each draw, a marble is chosen or drawn from the bag and not replaced. In three draws, find the probability of obtaining a white, a black, and then a green in that order. Well, the probability of selecting a white first is 5 over 10 because there are five favorable outcomes, five white marbles, out of a ten possible 10 marbles to choose from. So that would reduce to one half. The probability of selecting a black second, well now we've got three black marbles, we still have three black marbles in the bag, but we only have nine marbles to choose from because one is gone. So we have three out of nine as our probability of selecting a black second or one third. The probability of selecting a green third, well, we have two green marbles to choose out of a possible eight marbles left in the bag. So the probability of selecting a green is two over eight. Now these events are dependent. And the way this is written is the probability of white being chosen first and a black chosen second and a green chosen third is equal to the probability that a white is chosen first times the probability that a black is chosen second given, the white, the, given that a white was chosen first times the probability that a green was chosen third given that a black was chosen second and a white was chosen first. So this is one half or five tenths times one third or three ninths times two eighths or one quarter, which is one in 24. So the probability of drawing white, then black, then green is one in 24.